Hello everyone! In this video we shall talk about one of the main items for mages, Zoni's Hourglass. This item resulted from the separation of the offensive and defensive abilities of the removed item Zoni's Ring, last seen in patch 1.0.0.108, about 7 years ago when many of you didn't even know about League of Legends. Zoni's Hourglass is the defensive item. Rabadon's Deathcap is the offensive item. Zonya's ring was overpowered, it granted both stasis and a great deal of AP, so Riot Games has made two items out of one. After the short background, let's move on to our item, Zonya's Hourglass. The recipe is the following, Seek as Amgard plus Stopwatch plus Fiendish Codex. These items grant you 70 AP, 45 armor, 10% CDR and last but not least stasis, it's active. Champion becomes invulnerable and untargetable for 2.5 seconds, but is unable to move, attack, cast spells or use items during this time. Long story short, you are granted a few more seconds to leave. While in stasis, your cooldowns and HP regeneration stay active. You can also be healed by Seraka's ult, for example. But yet, we need stasis for more important things rather than regenerating HP or being healed by Soraka. So first things first. Zoni's Hourglass can be used as a defensive item against enemy champions, for example Karthas ult that is about to finish you off. But in most cases, Zoni's becomes a high priority item against champions with best damage, by dodging which you have higher chances of winning the duel. Those are champions like Zed, Fizz, Syndra, etc. You don't have to build Zoni's against those champions, you can just get stopwatch first to dodge an enemy ult. And sometime later, build Zoni's as stopwatch can only be activated once. Another reason to get Zonis is armor from Seeker's Arm Guard. This advanced item grants your additional armor that will help you during the laning phase against champions with physical damage, like Talon, Zed, Jace, Pantheon, etc. And Stasis has another defensive function. It gives you a possibility to dodge enemy abilities while your flash is on cooldown. Zonis' potential isn't limited by its defensive functions against burst damage and enemy engages. It can also be used in offense. The most common use of it is breaking into the enemy team with your ult and hitting Zonia midst of the enemy champions. This combo is good on champions like Fiddlesticks, Cannon, Morgana, Swain, etc. as their ults keep being active while in stasis. But you shouldn't rush to use Zonias, otherwise you might find yourself in an awkward situation where you cancel your ult cast, waste Zonias and stay where you are. Zonias can also be used in synergy with your abilities. That means if you already have abilities that make you invulnerable or untargetable, you can use them one after another. For example, Vladimir hits W, casts his abilities, activates Zonias and then uses Q again, as champion abilities cooldown keep restoring while in stasis. Or another example, Lissandra can R herself, cast a few abilities after ult and then use Zonias, which allows her to zone the enemies for quite a while, keeping her carries safe. Stasis also helps to dive enemies under their turrets, as you lose tower aggro when you become untargetable. It allows you to survive in very dangerous situations. Besides, Zonis has a few peculiarities and their knowledge will help you to play and use them more wisely. Twisted Fate can still pick a card while in Stasis, that means when you cast W, you can use Zonis right after, to make it 100% sure that you'll pick the right card. Also, while Stasis is active, any pets that the user currently has, like Annie's Tibbers or Mordekaiser's Ghost, can still be issued commands. And one of the most important rules, use Zonis wisely, not to get killed right after Stasis ends. If chances of dying are way too high, try to flash away instantly. So, what should you know about Zonis Hourglass? Zonis is mostly built against champions with physical damage. Stasis helps you survive or even win duels against champions like Zed, Fizz, Syndra, etc. With the help of Stasis, you can survive an enemy engage. Stasis makes it easier for you to tower dive. You don't need to go out of the turret range for it to switch targets. And finally, Zonias is a must-have for champions like Fiddlesticks, Morgana, Cannon, who can use Stasis during their ultimates.